I'm out here with my buddy Doug, and this is his 1959 Chevrolet Corvette. We're going to take a walk around, fire it up. This is a uh, beautiful, beautiful car. It's got a, it's got a beautiful paint job on it. We've got two sets of wheels to go with it. It's got these Kreger Super Sports with the Mastercraft Vendor GT tires on it um, that are brand new. And then we've also got a set of white wall tires that go with it. I love the look of the white walls. They, it just looks so classic and beautiful. And you can see we've got some pictures up on the ad with the white wall tires. It looks amazing. It just drives better with the newer radial tires. So we've got the radial tires on it right now for driving. Uh, we just flip the light switch on, the lights work. We'll go through real quick in a minute and check on the turn signals and everything. This has got a 327 engine in it. It is an original Corvette engine, but it's not original to this vehicle. It's got a newly re re rebuilt transmission that was done this May, and the clutch was also replaced with a tranny. It's got a four speed manual. Very desirable. I'm impressed with the Jim Mayer Racing Front Independent Suspension that was uh, installed a couple of years ago. It is fantastic. I'm going to try and get down in there. You've got rack and pinion steering. You've got independent front suspension. This thing drives like, like a new car, especially compared to uh, what these things drove like when they, were, when they came out of the factory. This is a gentleman owned vehicle always kept indoors never driven in the rain owned by the kind of people that appreciate a vehicle like this and keep it like it should be kept I'll show you the undercarriage in a minute too absolutely rust free the frame looks amazing the floor pans look unbelievable I mean this is just a beautiful specimen of, a, of the classic American muscle car collector car it has a beautiful diamond tuck interior. It's a little bit older interior restoration. Still in fantastic shape. Not perfect, but I'm going to give it an eight and a half, maybe a nine. I mean, it's an, it's fantastic. Aside from missing a couple of buttons, as you can see on this on the pa on the driver's seat, just a couple of little buttons, and it's not missing the buttons. But those are button cappers. It is missing about four or five cappers on there. If it wasn't missing those cappers, I'd give it a nine and a half because, I mean, it just looks fantastic. Oops, that was my fault on that door opening. The door actually opens and closes very well. You can listen to them open well. I just didn't hold that button in the first time I did it. Windows roll up and down like they're supposed to. Of course, we'll never cruise with the windows up or the top up. There's no reason to have the top up if it's not raining. Just want to show door panels look fantastic. All the knobs are in order. Carpet's in great shape. Interior is in original, beautiful style condition. It's got a four speed manual transmission with a Hearst shifter. It does have a radio that was probably installed in the 80s, upgraded. Um, it was done tastefully. The nice thing is you can get a tape adapter for your iPod. Pop a tape in there, you can still play your iPod music on it. All the gauges work. Uh, we did discover today that we need to put a new um, speedometer cable on it. And uh, so that's the only thing that's not working. The tachometer does work. We'll fire the car up here in just a second. You'll see that. I've got a little sheet here on the car. Let me read off a couple of other things about it while I do a walk around. Uh, oh, do you mind closing that for me? So we've got a new starter that was just replaced this month. We've got a MSD ignition. We've got the uh, a new top. It's got a white convertible top, in new condition. Uh, the chrome has all been done. Looks absolutely uh, fantastic. I believe that that's an older re job, but still in fantastic shape. Very, very nice. Um, let's see what else we got. The paint and body are great. The body on this thing is just super straight. You want to look down the body lines. And uh, this was actually a West Coast car up until just a few years ago when it was brought to Georgia. Kept and restored by a collector. And I just want to show you how nice the lines are on this thing. I mean, it is. This is just an absolutely beautiful car. This is a car that needs nothing but a driver. A 
We'll turn the key. Touch the key, the car fires right up. The exhaust sounds great. Sounds like it should sound. It's not too aggressive, but you can definitely hear it coming down the road. It's got a nice little mild cam sound to it. Long tube header. Dual exhaust. And I just want to keep walking around the car and show. Chrome in fantastic shape. Body lines, perfect. I mean, the body on this thing is a 10. It looks perfect. The paint on this car is an eight and a half, a nine. I mean, it's, it's fantastic, it's beautiful. No smoking out of the engine or anything. Like I said, it was just rebuilt. I mean, this thing is in great mechanical shape. Let's do the uh, turn signals. We'll do the turn signals and the brake lights. Got a left turn signal, right turn signal. Brake lights. And then on the front, Got a left turn signal, right turn signal, and go ahead and turn the lights off. All the wiring's new. The car is responsive. It has all the giddy up and go that you would expect to have in a car like this. Nice tight clutch. Got a really, really good sounding exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it back off and show you the underneath. Like I said, you can hear that door open and shut. Perfect, exactly, just like it should. We'll go underneath the car. We'll let that camera adjust. This is brand new. This is what we like to see right here. That makes all the difference in the world from the other ones that you're looking at in this price range. That uh, Jim Mayer racing kit is, uh, front suspension is almost $7,000 addition. If you took the receipts from the engine rebuild, tranny rebuild, body work, paint, front, front end, two sets of wheels and tires, I mean, you wouldn't be able to build this car for what you're buying it for. I've got a friend who just paid $30,000 just for the body of one of these and frame of one of these things. I mean, granted, it's in gorgeous shape, but... It looks just like this one. Frame, fantastic. Undercarriage, absolutely beautiful. No leaks. I'll show you the back side of that racing front end. Can you pop the uh, trunk for me? Rear end in uh, beautiful shape. Of course, it's disc brakes on the front. That brand new kit. Got a new dual exhaust, factory style. Floor pans, fantastic shape. I mean, this this is just this is the example. When you open up the dictionary and you look up Corvette, this is the car you want to see. I mean, it's just beautiful. Gorgeous trunk, plenty of room for carting around your beer cooler to your car shows, going on short trips. I think that may still have the original spare tire in it. Got the original jack instructions. Fiberglass in perfect shape. All the body work was done very, very well. Any body work that's ever been done on it. I don't see a single crack. Uh, crack. I don't see spider webbing. All of your kind of typical, your typical, you hear that trunk close? Sounds so nice. All of your typical things that you're concerned about on a Corvette and a fiberglass body like spider webbing, cracks, 
gouges, splinters, anything like that, none of that on this car. This is a 1959 Chevrolet Corvette. It's gorgeous. It's ready to hit the road. It's got the white wall tires you can put on to show off at the local shows. It's got these brand new radial tires to take on nice long trips. These cars are so much fun and uh, whoever owns this car next is going to be in heaven.